introduce to you and tell you what it is that I did that quantum shift my healing and really uh, help me let go of some disappointments I had in my life, um, everything that was holding me back, all the blocks that I had. Um, you know, so much is going on in the collective that I, I needed help to really get rid of this, to, to let it go, to get back to the point of zero and get back into the law of inspiration of where I need to be. Hello, hello, hello. I've got three viewers. Please make sure you drop a comment down below. It does help bring up the video and I like to interact. I want to know exactly where y'all are at, guys. So drop a comment if you can. I'd love to hear from you. So, um just to talk about that what is the law of inspiration and how do we get into that and how do you know when you're in it okay i uh doing some reflecting have been guided and and been in tune with the law of inspiration what that means is when you are in direct alignment with your higher power source god the divine whatever it is that you want to call them when you are in the law of inspiration it it's you're the instrument so he uses you to um, carry out what it is you are created to do within this lifetime, okay? Because we all are created to fulfill something within our lifetime. It's not just the nine to five job uh, or what you, what you want. Getting in the law of inspiration is getting in tuned with God. And the thing that kept coming to me yesterday was to be still and know that I am God. Okay. So the misconception that is happening with a lot of people is that they are looking for God, the creator, whatever it is you want to call him, whatever resonates with you, please remember, use discernment, whatever resonates with you. Don't get hung up on words. Um, whatever, uh, let me go back to what I was saying. Um, we God is not on the outside of you. He lies within, and this is how we get connected with him, okay? So um, I have been in an alignment with the law of inspiration. I've been out of alignment with the law of inspiration and operating from memory and data. And recently I have. I've been in that law of memory and data. And it's so easy to slip into that. And that is because I have a lot of things happening to me relationship-wise, family-wise, very... Um, you know, big things that impact my world dramatically shifting, okay? And, you know, when, when you lose somebody that's close to you or something in your life, you have memories that come up. You reminisce, you know, you get sad, all those, those feelings and stuff like that. That doesn't mean that y'all aren't still connected on a quantum level. And I had to process some things, but... I noticed that, especially coming into this weekend in the past two weeks, you know, a lot of us are operating from memory and data right now, especially what's going on in the collective, the political front, you know, people getting into fear and all that other stuff. This one healing technique that I'm going to teach you today will like really shift your entire world. So, um, when I was brought to the awareness of what was going on and that I was going through the grieving process or just processing these emotions, transmuting, this, this is all about tapping into our inner alchemy. Okay. We all possess those things and this is the transmuting. Okay. Taking those lower vibrational emotions and, and turning it around and letting it go into higher vibrations. And what I found was um, I am a quantum healer. I do a lot of my healing on the quantum level. But I am incorporating many healing modalities to help me dramatically shift what I did this weekend. So I kind of posted about it yesterday. Um, but I'm going to share my screen real quick. Um... I posted it on my personal timeline, but uh, I was guided to yesterday morning. I got up. I did some exercises. I did some Qigong. I'm really getting back into, you know, starting my day right. If you want to know more about that, please drop a message down below. Go check out our website because I have something all about uh, how to really kickstart your morning and end your day. So I did that yesterday, and I have this plant that was my mom's. 
that it's it's gotten bigger and it I have a small house it can't really fit inside the house it sits on the front porch and I haven't been giving it love like I need to and it's got some you know dust on the leaves it's got some um you know I'll show you some pictures it has some black stuff and uh it had been really driving me crazy okay and I, I don't know what this is guys I'm just now getting really into my horde culture and and tapping in and connecting with the elements um because I am practicing a lot of alchemy here um so you know this was just kind of you know just driving me crazy and something kept telling me to spend the time of taking care of and cleaning and as soon as i got down on the front porch and i pulled the plant in front of me i got a cloth out and a water spray bottle and i started wiping and each leaf i started connecting to the plant itself and the more that i connected with the plants because the part of honoponopono is also understanding that all of us everything is connected okay everything breathes life everything is alive you know on a on a higher level we are all connected we all have atoms so i was envisioning that i was me and the plant were one okay and everything that kept going on and on and on in my mind was be still and know that i am god and so the more that I was being still, practicing that mindfulness, being present in the moment, and really connecting with the plant, each leaf that I was wiping, I was saying my hono, pono, pono, pono. Now, I teach how you can, you know, outside of just saying the, the phrase of hono, pono, pono, uh, you can actually, you know, have a specific item that is infused with the Honoponopono. So when you look at it or whatever, it reminds yourself, your higher self, to do the cleaning on a quantum level. Well, that's what I really started to do with this plant. So every time that I look at this plant, it's cleaning as well. It's helping me clean. But the more that I was doing it, what was coming to me at the same time was that it was, you know, just like us, we have all this stuff happen to us in our lives that dull our shines, that block out the light from either shining out or shining in. It blocks from, you know, us connecting with our higher selves and really, you know, stepping into our full potential of why we came, came here, you know, really trusting and walking in faith and being in that, that point of zero and alignment with the law of inspiration in the divine so as i was wiping and as i was clearing and cleaning the plant i was envisioning that god was cleaning me as well now what i found <laughs> was the more that i was doing this the more that i could feel things shift from the inside with me and i'm telling you guys this morning like i am just like at massive shifts massive shifts have taken place just overnight and yesterday was a much, much, much needed day of self-care. And that's what I did. I checked out. I, I didn't get on social media as much as I did. I did, I mean, four hours on the porch. And when I do something like I go all in, I had not only just done the cleaning, like here's the whole plant, guys. This is a picture, like this is on the left is what has not been cleaned. On the right is the parts that I did clean every single leaf every stem got wiped down got love set honoponopono to it and i'm literally four four about over four hours later um i had finished cleaning the entire plant and not only just cleaned me you know because i was cleaning me in the process but i was not just cleaning the stuff that has has tainted or, or been blocking me from achieving my highest potential, me really stepping into my calling and trusting the process, but it was also healing stuff from past timelines as well. Now, this is 
a very, very, very simple healing technique. And some of you may resonate with it and some of you may not. Me as a quantum healer and know how profound this can be because, you know, intention is everything, guys. If you think about it, you know, when, when we are manifesting and we are asking for these things, you do that by setting intention by impressing the subconscious uh, subconscious with feeling and with visualization and everybody are you know we are manifesting all the time some of you just may not be aware of it but until you get gain that awareness of you know shit's not going right in your life where's your thoughts at we're what are you impressing your subconscious with this i took it a step further and like you know i incorporated one with the plant and i envisioned that you know while i was cleaning the plant that god was doing the same thing to me as well i love you too carol thank you for that um so this was like i'm telling you guys massive massive shifts i am feeling massive shifts taking place in my life and this is something that you can do as well okay so i wanted to kind of show you that and here's the here's a little video that i did i don't know if you can hear it but if you can see here's some of the leaves where the black was some of it that i cleaned um but yes so like I'm getting really big into connecting with the elements, but it's these little things that you can do to really um, transform your life, okay? And I, I really wanted to put this out there because um, really like the Honoponopono and the quantum healing that I've been doing behind the scenes to help my clients, I mean dramatic shifts within their life and this is something that you too can do uh at home you know it's super simple to do if you have a house plan if you don't have a house plan go get a house plan um or a plant that's outside but you know i am one of those that has reached in my my spiritual level that if you do see me speaking to a tree you know mind your own damn business a lot of people were walking by my porch yesterday i was doing it on the front porch and i had binary beats blaring that ha that promotes plant growth you know and yeah i probably look like one of those crazy ladies you know cleaning her plants saying i love you i'm sorry please forgive me and thank you but you know what at the end of the day i don't give two shits because how i was feeling prior to doing that i was really getting to the point of being sick and i was sick and tired of being sick and tired not only was I having everything go on in my life, but I too am being affected by the current energies the, the the energy spikes on the planet are all over the place. We're having constant like planetary changes, full moons, now Mercury retrograde, you know, all this stuff does play a part and we're picking up on the stuff that's going on on the collectives that I really got to the point where I was like, okay, something's got to give because it was really weighing me down and holding me back. So, you know, uh, take some time to do this, you know, and do it for you. The more that you start connecting with you, even if you use a plant, I, I chose to use a plant. I mean, this morning I, I walked outside. It is like, it's, it's beautiful. It's bright. It's, it's all happy and everything like that. It just like me. So that is, that's the awareness that I want to bring to you, that once you realize that we are all connected, everything is connected, the more that you heal yourself, the more that it's going to, to start healing others. I mean, I, the, the healing that I did yesterday is not just benefiting me, it's benefiting y'all as a whole. You know, if, if you're watching this or, or, or I, I connect with you, there is a reason for that. Okay, guys. So, um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really wanted to share it. This is something that I'm really going to be incorporating more and more and more, not only in my lives, but 
different ways to, sh to help my clients uh, dramatically shift their lives. This stuff has worked for me. Uh, you're talking to someone who's spent thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars and, you know, uh, psychiatrist and therapist and recovery programs and, you know, all sorts of shit out there uh, that never, that never helped me. Not as much as something like this. So that, that is where I got in my life guys, that if it took me doing something like this with a plant, regardless of what anybody's opinion is on it. And it has dramatically shifted me. It has improved my life. It has made me a better person at the end of the day. Then, you know, I don't, it doesn't matter. It works to me and it's worked for my clients. The ones that I have shown them these different healing techniques. So this has been a very profound healing technique for me. I hope that you get to utilize it. And if you do, I would love, love, love to hear feedback on it. And I will definitely keep you up to date with how the plant is doing. I'm going to really be, you know, every morning, like I decided this morning when I, when I, when I connected with it, that it is me <clears throat> as the plant grows. I am growing. If I'm not taking care of the plant, I'm not taking care of me. If dust is getting on the plant, if dust is, is uh, if it's getting dirt, if bugs are attacking it, then that's what's, what's happening to me. You're exactly right, Carol. It's all about connections and, and relationships and healing. So if, if this is something to help you, because there's so many people out there struggling, and please, please share this video if you know anybody that is struggling, because you never know. You know, it's these little things that, you know, because I, I incorporated that, you know, me and the plant are one, how I treat it, how that plant is taken care of is how I am taking care of me. For the It's like a family tree